Roger Federer is no stranger to Hamburg. He won here in 2002 and then again last year. But being the world number one is no guarantee of success here in Germany. Since 1980, the top-seeded player has won the title only four times. Ivan Lendl did it in 1987 and 89, Stefan Edberg did it in 1992, and Federer accomplished the feat last year. So, some early practice for the Swiss ace, who headed for the Hamburg Harbour for a pre-tournament workout. The Hamburg Harbour? That's right, the timing of the Masters Series Hamburg coincided with the 816th birthday of the Harbour and the tennis tournament with its presenting sponsor, Eon Hansa, as well as the civic authorities, combined to celebrate both occasions by erecting a unique court right on the water. Roger is always up for something new and he collected Germany's Tommy Haas along the way to share the experience. The pair were met at the waterside by members of the cast of the Broadway musical The Lion King, which is currently playing at the Theatre im Hafen, which means Theatre at the Harbour. Roger and Tommy have made some unusual entrances onto a centre court in their time, but being escorted down a gangway was something different. Once on board the specially fitted barge, the floating tennis match set out on a voyage of promotion as the craft slowly made its way towards the Landungsbrücken, the wharf area which serves the local river passenger traffic. The 30 metre long pontoon was paraded in front of hordes of spectators on the banks of the River Elbe as the players braved the wind and the waves to put on a 20 minute exhibition that attracted an estimated 15,000 spectators. Federer certainly appeared to enjoy the experience. We had a, a lot of fun really, I enjoyed it very very much with, to play with Tommy Haas here in, in Hamburg on the, on the boat, you know, on a, on a tennis court which was moving, so you know, I hope, uh, hope it gets a lot of coverage because it's the birthday of the, of the harbour here and it's something very special here in Hamburg and uh, you know, we, we tried to do this to promote the tournament, anyway for us too it was, it was great fun to do it. The players received widespread applause for their efforts in unfavourable conditions and once back on dry land, Roger noted that it was a professional tennis player's skill to adapt to all sorts of court surfaces. The court, you know, speed was pretty quick, you know, compared to clay court, you know? <laughs> but uh, I don't know, we got used to it, the more we played on it and in the end we actually got some good rallies going.